recess, Santi watched Thomas, a new boy at school, who stood alone in a corner of the playground, his head down and a sad expression on his face. Near him, a group of boys led by Diego, a boy known at school for his arrogance, laughed loudly as they glared at him and made hurtful comments. Diego and his group, called the Untouchables, often bullied the kids who seemed quieter or loners. For them, bullying others was a game in which they always won. Santi approached Thomas after Diego and his friends walked away laughing. He asked if he was okay, but Thomas, with a weak smile, tried to cover it up, saying that he had just had a bad day. However, when Santi insisted, Thomas finally confessed in a low voice, it's Diego and his group. They won't leave me alone, but if I tell anyone, it will surely get worse. Santi understood Thomas' fear, but he knew he had to help him. That afternoon, Santi gathered the members of the Friendship Club and explained the situation to them. They knew that directly confronting Diego and the Untouchables could be risky, but they also knew that Thomas needed help. After discussing several options, they came to an agreement, instead of directly confronting Diego and his friends, they would help Thomas regain his confidence and ignore the teasing. In addition, they would commit to being with him at times when he might feel more vulnerable, such as recess or after school. The next day, the club began its plan. At recess, Santi's friends approached Thomas and started talking to him as if nothing was happening. They told him jokes and encouraged him, reminding him that he could always count on them. Although Thomas was initially uncomfortable and shy, little by little he began to relax in the company of his friends. The Friendship Club also taught him techniques for handling awkward situations, such as ignoring hurtful comments and focusing his attention on friends who valued him. Over the next few days, Diego and his gang tried to continue bothering Thomas. But this time, Thomas didn't react like before. With the support of the Friendship Club, he had learned not to give importance to insults. When Diego made a cruel comment, Thomas's friends continued to talk and laugh, ignoring the taunts. At first, Thomas felt nervous, but over time, his confidence grew, and Diego's words stopped affecting him. One day, when Diego and his gang came over again to bother Thomas, he simply smiled and continued talking to his friends without showing any annoyance. This change puzzled Diego and the others, who gradually lost interest when they saw that their insults were no longer effective. Afterwards, Diego and his gang stopped bothering Thomas. Now, Thomas felt safe and happy at school, surrounded by friends who valued him. The Friendship Club became an example of bravery and camaraderie, inspiring other students to stand up for themselves without resorting to violence. At the end of the episode, the club gathered to celebrate their success. Thanks to you, I no longer feel alone or scared at school, said Thomas, with a sincere smile. I know I have friends who support me, and that gives me strength. Moral of the story Friendship and the support of those who value us can be the most powerful tools to overcome fear and cruelty. If you liked this story, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload a new story. And please, before you go to sleep, leave us a like. This encourages us to create more and better children's video stories and to reach many more boys and girls, so that they can enjoy them as much as you have. Good night and sweet dreams.